In 1911, Ernest Rutherford discovered that the core of every atom is a nucleus. Well, in 2017, I discovered that the core of my life was the images fixed in my mind. And as I started to learn how to change the images that were fixed in my mind, my life by law started to change. The nucleus makes up much less than 0.01% of the volume of the atom. Not really small. But typically contains more than 99.9% .9 of the mass of the atom. Start to think about yourself just like an atom. So you may look at the outside, and this stage has taken up a lot of space. My body's taken up a lot of space. But it's actually this little invisible idea that's actually producing the whole thing. Your whole life is produced by the nucleus. If you start changing the nucleus, you're gonna start to change your life. You start to dream bigger. You start to build a bigger self-image. You start to let your mind go out to build a bigger vision. You're gonna start to change the nucleus. And I do not care where you're at. I don't care if you're successful. I don't care if you're happy. You can become more successful and you can become happier. I don't care if you're miserable as hell and your life is D-O-G-S-H-I-T. I don't care where you're at. I really don't care. You see, people don't realize that they're dealing with an infinite potential. They don't know that. They don't know the mind that exists inside themselves. Now, it'd be very strange if you experienced that. Wouldn't that be strange? If you went to a church, they're like, no, nah, sorry, man, can't help you. All used up. God's busy. That's weird, isn't it? Don't you think that's weird? That would never happen, would it? But you do it all the time to yourself. You see, it's the nuclei that controls the whole thing. It's the nuclei that controls the orientation of your life. That's the truth. A nucleus is the central and most important part of an object. It controls the movement or group forming the basis for its activity and growth. So as you start to understand that it controls the growth and the purpose of a goal, the purpose of a vision is to grow. Well, grow in what? What do you think it is? What do you think you're meant to grow in? In your consciousness. See, the purpose of life is to understand your conscious level of awareness to become one with who you really are. You see, it's not enough to know the idea. You have to know the person that's going to produce the idea. And that's a really, really fun way to live.